collision on the highway. tickets but yeesh that thing is exciting and I'm happy that it doesn't um it doesn't feel like I need to crank my radio all the way up just so I can have a smooth ride you know I can still drive I can still um listen to a regular uh depth or decibel um radio and be chill or I could just to my car and that's what I was missing before I swapped out because I couldn't really hear it like <clears throat> if I stand outside and rev my engine then yes I can hear it right but one thing I missed from my previous cars was that when I was riding through a, a tunnel or a, um, a garage like a multiple story garage I could hear, you know, the intake, I could hear the exhaust, and it was a nice little sound that's like, you know what I mean? So, now that I got this joint, I'm happy that I get the best of both worlds. Like, I can have it in six gear, two, I'm at 22 RPMs, 2200 RPMs, and cruising, right? That's a rumble, but it ain't like I got a, Oh, my alignment is nice too. It's not like shimmying. It ain't swerving or nothing. That felt good. Um, it's not. And oh, and the tires. Let me get to that in a second. So I can chill, six gear. I'm at seventy miles an hour. Um, low RPMs. I'm gonna let a little bit of traffic, so I can't like speed up. But I can drop gears even at three RPMs which is where I like to be, between 2,500 and 3,000 RPMs, as in uh, my intermediate between cruising and accelerating. When I want the power to be there and available for me to just go, I leave it at three. But when I'm ready to hit it, that's when I downshift. Like right now, I'm in fifth gear, 70 miles an hour, 3250 in RPMs, and that's the sound that you hear right now, right? I try not to accelerate at bridges, I'm not trying to waste my gas, that'll defeat the purpose. Um, but sitting behind a bend, but it's got a nice little purr at 3000 3, RPMs, so now. I have a slight opportunity if everybody actually follows the rules of traffic. I'm going to just drop the gear, switch lanes, and go. And see how that cabin noise sounds, you know? And that's what I want. I'm at 3,500 RPMs, 75 miles an hour. Five.
downshift to four and I'm at 4,000 RPMs. Hear it again. Shift up to fifth, 70 miles, 75 miles an hour. And then down to six. So I get the best of both worlds. Now I can just be at cruising speed, and turn on my radio if I want, open my windows if I want. It's loud. just so I can rub it, right? Just to hear how it sounds. Yeah, it's fifth gear. Man, gotta love it. I'm happy with my purchase. <coughs> Save myself DIY. I couldn't do this on my own. Uh, I didn't have all the tools, but it was the alternative to going and get the um, the motor dying uh, what's it called what is that motor dying uh, pipe called I can't remember hey, you calling me man I ain't trying to talk to nobody um, anyways spending 1500 compared to piecing it together um, once again shout out to my guy uh, Adam Chevron at uh, Gemini White Pipe. The uh, it's a solid, solid put in and um, solid craftsmanship for sure. So salute to you, bro. 